Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's up guys? It is your boy Bugs, and today guys, we're gonna be going over a lot of stuff today. Multiverses just dropped their new trailer, the devs are talking about a lot of stuff, their um, homepage got updated, the game page got updated, and I'm gonna catch you up on all of that. Let's get straight into the video, guys. So, as you can see, the game is gonna be dropping May 28th. Unfortunately, that is not early 2024, like I said, but at least we got a date, and it's not too long from that day. And if you don't know, that is 28 days from today of this video being um, released. Um, if you haven't seen the trailer yet, um, you could go on their Twitter, their YouTube, you can even go on my page and see my reaction to the video live. And yeah, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna skim through it and pretty much showcase a lot of new stuff that we noticed and a lot of changes that we've seen. Obviously, this is all not finalized, as you can see from the gameplay, but yeah. So, we're gonna go through. My boy Tony, yes sir. So the first thing we see is Finn's down tilt. Phil down tilt looks like it does not throw you off the stage anymore, or you're able to DI good enough to where you could get ground bounce to the stage and not get flung off the stage. Awesome. Um, the next thing we notice is, oh, the, the, the ground bounce animations, as you can see right here. My man Rain Dog does his stare, if you remember his roly poly. One, it looks way smaller, W. Um, and then look at you see, Get the ground pounds animation right here. Um, where you don't know if there's teching in the game yet, but cool to see new animations. Also, I'm gonna play this for you right now. Superman's flight definitely looks slower, but might be more powerful as you can see later in the video. But as you can see, definitely slower. Harley has a new move, and I love it. I think I'm gonna be a Harley main again. As you can see, this amazing move into that. My goodness, I cannot wait to see. New look like she got a new walking animation too, as you can see. Just dope. Awesome, and you can still do bomb tricks that we love to see. Let's go on to the next one. This is them showcasing. This is them showcasing the characters. From them doing this angle stuff, guys, it seems like we might get a replay mode. I'm not trying to jump to the conclusions, but the fact that they're able to showcase it like that, I mean, obviously they can, but you know, them doing it, Kind of gives me the idea and here's uh one of the new maps this is from the powerpuff girls you can see awesome can't wait to see a next map um dexter lavatory as you can see monkey here oh my ah uh, dd oh my god i can't oh i can't wait to see these maps man oh guys i'm, I'm just gonna let, i'm just gonna let the play out for itself oh my god did, did y'all see that do y'all see that difference guys oh my god Redefine indeed. Amazing. So now this is the first time we get to see um dash attacking. Yeah, so we have a, a, a huge speculation that there's dash attacking in the game because as you can see, if you look at Rick right here, he kind of just runs off, right? And then he jumps and then does like a, a weird move right here, like a little shield move. And pretty much everyone's assuming it's dash attacking, and you're gonna see other characters kind of do the same thing in a way, and yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna let it play out for you. Also, I noticed Bugs Bunny moves are hella faster. Look at his near, and then look at his jab. It is hella fast, but yeah. And also, if you notice, there's a lot of knockback in the game. Again, we don't know the percentage of the characters, so we really can't tell them if the, strong, the moves are really strong or just because they're at high percentages already. So that's very unfortunate, but yeah. What else we have? Oh. I have Batman and them fighting right here. Again, I'm gonna let it showcase first and then play it off. Dope. They made another gameplay. Now this one, I gotta rewind back because this one's amazing. Again, look at this knockback on Finn. Oh my goodness, right? But then I want you to watch Wonder Woman. Look at Wonder Woman. Look how she's able to tuck and roll in the air. And then, oh my God, do y'all see this guys? <laughs> she dodged Finn's there. Oh my God, he's nerfed. Guys, we could play the game again. <laughs> But yeah, like that's so cool to see that like you have some type of dodge or some type of like, I guess like not say small feature, but you know what I mean, like like an evade feature where you could kind of just be keep yourself in a smaller like concept, I guess. That was pr pretty dope to see. Um, what else did we notice? Oh, here, here we go. Here's here's the um the the dash attack we're talking about. So apparently. When you dash attack, you have stars underneath your feet. So if you're gonna see right here, you see how um, Morty has the stars underneath your feet? That means he's doing his um, dash attack. As you can see, his new move right here. I'm gonna play it out normally for y'all so y'all can see it far. 
There we go. Yeah. Taz right here, as you can see. Play it back for you one more time. Definitely, definitely looks like it. Let's see if we can see the stars on this move too. Yeah, you can see. It's it's early, but you can see it. You can see that there's stars underneath his feet. So that means he's definitely doing it right there. That's awesome. I'm this this what I'm happy to see is that you're still able to do, do your attacks and dodge and do another attack. Now, dodge attacking doesn't seem like it's in the game anymore, thankfully, but I'm still happy that you're still able to continue the flow of attacking, as you can see um, Black Adam do right here, what he does is dare into a dodge and then go into his jab combo, which is amazing. I'm happy to see that, man. All right, and we're going to go right here where we can see Wonder Woman. Again, you see the dodge? Um, so it also, it looks like, unless, unless they change this move into um, dash attacking, it looks like you also could cancel it. Doesn't look like you have to do um, a dash attack. So there might just be dashing in the game in general, but you know, dashing and then pressing a certain button will give you a dash attack. But it looks like there's dashing in the game because you can see the stars are there. But then she goes into her down tilt, which is the shout. And then another thing to notice, this might be LeBron's um, dash attack, as you can see. Look, you're gonna see stars again. And then look, he's gonna try to do a move, like like get out my way move. But at the same time, y'all notice how he's trying to go past her, but he can't. Now that could be because of Wonder Woman's move, or it could be that there's um collision now where you can't just walk through people anymore, which might be dope to see. Also, W on the on the size of her um, you know, down tilt. Like it's not a huge normage circle anymore. It definitely looks smaller and clean and like more skillful. Like, oh, you gotta pretty much get close to me. Um, and I could blast you all versus I have this big bubble that that you can't hit me, and then I could just walk away from it. So that's a W. That's awesome. And then I think there's a little bit more at the ending. Oh my God. Harley. Oh, this looks so amusing. It's beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> but let's go back a little bit. So they definitely updated a couple stuff. As you can see, Harley has a shotgun now. <laughs> no more confetti gun. Nah, Shardy got a full blown shotgun for you. <laughs> Next we have Arya. Looks like she still has her dagger um teleport, which is pretty dope. Um, and then Superman still has his flight. It's a lot of hits done in the game too, but again, as it says, um, in development footage is not final, so a lot of stuff could change. They probably, you know, also it could probably just have hits done or strong hits done to showcase the moves and showcase how strong they are and stuff. So hopefully it's not too, you know, staggering like that. But yeah, we shall see. And I think that's all that I really saw in the in the gameplay wise, you know, different difference. But yeah, that's dope. That's dope. Um, now let's go into the tweets. Well, before we go into the tweets, let me show you the new banner they made, guys. They got they updated their artwork. Like, oh my god, this looks beautiful, man. This, <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, if you look at the old banner, it really does feel like they got out of beta. So if you don't know, Multiverse was in beta. This is gonna be the full release. This feels like an actual release game now, or like the art wise. Um, I'm gonna keep showing y'all. You're gonna see like the art wise, it just looks cleaner versus how the beta kind of kind of was like cl cloudyish and just kind of just like, hey, you know, here's something for now. This looks like yeah, we're completed type stuff. New renders as you can see from everybody. Oh, I can't wait. The first tweet we're going to get is from um, ResLive, and he says, we built the game from the ground up. So, yeah, so you haven't watched the video yet, and you're just watching this, and you're saying, screw it, I'll watch the video later. Yeah, pretty much they built the game from the ground up um, for the new netcode. If you don't know, the netcode wasn't that amazing. So I'm happy to hear this and can't wait to see the new netcode for this game. Uh, I've been contributing a lot into this space, and this is what I'm most excited about. I really, um, I hope that we'll see a new um, gold standard for fighting games online. It is real rollback netcode, and it's good rollback netcode. Ugh. Love to hear it. Can't wait to see it. Ajax, the most important thing to talk about today is that netcode. Here they go again. Without a doubt in my mind, this is the best feeling netcode I've ever played on. Cross-country testing daily. Daily. And I never feel like I'm playing online. This is the only small example of how amazing it is. Oh, I love to hear it. And also, <laughs> cross-country testing. <laughs> PFG, what's up? Put, put me in. Put me in, coach. <laughs> Next we have is Jordan. Being the only member from the UK and I've been able to test the games and play consistently felt smooth oh my goodness are you telling me we're gonna have global tournaments we're gonna have global tournaments tell me i'm telling you we're gonna have global tournaments online oh my 
Next we have is the cat. Yeah, I know I, I play the hell out of fighting games, and fighting game is not done without its netcode in the modern era. That being said, after extensive testing, I'm confident the multiverse is having the best netcode experience. Guys, they're yapping. They're yapping about this netcode. So that means, and it feels like offline. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. And then the next thing, as we all noticed, which I didn't bring up, was, um, you know, the graphical enhancement may be beautiful, but I'm sure you noticed the character size and the camera work. Love the camera work. Those character sizes are quite big. Again, it's not finalized, so I would love to see them <laughs> knock their sizes by 5 to 10% because I'm not going to lie. They look big. <laughs> um, next, to end it off with, we have Tony talking about the McDonald's stuff. If you know, McDonald's um, is happening. They have a collab with them, and that's going to be happening tomorrow, as you can see. If you don't know, Happy Meal is coming soon. So bam, bam, bam. And before we get into the new... Um, the website page we're gonna go to their game page because that's been updated as you can see we have shaggy and superman we have jake rain dog and and i'm um, finn chilling we have black adam killing superman and garnett while morty chills we got batman scaring shaggy and velma and we have batman and then they changed their um bio or you know whatever this thing is game info most of it is a free-to-play platform fighter that brings the death of iconic WB stars to life across the nearly endless possibilities of play. So it definitely looks like they're going to start focusing on more WB stars as in, you know, the characters that they own and stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure they're still down for third parties, but I think the focus is definitely going to be their characters, which makes the most sense. And I can't wait to see that. And yeah, man, um, game drops on the 28th. And they updated it. Also, there's a new PVE mode. I almost forgot to tell you that. Yeah, so for my solo players that just want to chill and relax and not be in those sweaty um, comp games or just fighting real players and just want to chill and relax, there's going to be a mode for that and rewards. Yeah, and rewards. Um, and now, let's go into the new page, man. Stars collide, pies fly. Ah, oh, this looks so amazing, guys. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. But the big thing, the real information that a lot of people would love to hear is in the FAQ. Let's go straight into it. Multiverses, yeah, 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 yeah. You can read that on your own timing. I got to get the good stuff. So does multiverses have rollback? Multiverses will have a deterministic rollback netcode. I probably said that wrong. I butchered that. I know I did. Don't don't judge me. <laughs> to support online gameplay. Love to hear. What is Gleneum? Gleneum is an optional type of in-game currency in multiverses that can now be earned in-game or purchased with real money through. Yes, guys. Now you can earn Gleneum in the game. That is a big-ass W. Um, do players need Gleneum to purchase and unlock characters? Nope, just play the game like it was in the beta. Um, ah, here we go. Are items earned from the Multiverse Battle Pass exclusive? Items earned from the Battle Pass um, are exclusive. Maybe um, opportunities to earn some of the items in the game at a later date. So, guys, if you miss out on a Battle Pass, don't worry. You can still get certain items in the future um, on a later date, as they said. Um, also, for the people that want to play the game, you can play the game now of the old version not the new version obviously but the old version if you ever downloaded the game before you can play the old version still but if you didn't download the game um before what april 4th it says right here yeah before april 4th then you can't unfortunately anymore but yeah so if you ever downloaded the game and you want to play a little bit just to have some fun and get ready for the re-release then you can um if players delete multiverses as you can see you can still reinstate it if you um downloaded it before a certain date and then the final thing that um, you know stuck out to me was what will happen to previously earned and purchased in-game content? All content earned and purchased before you know the date the game closed down, including unused Gleneum, battle tokens, character tickets, and all that stuff will carry over. So guys, for the people that have been begging and crying, I bought the battle pass, I bought the founder pack, give me my money back, refund, refund. Guys, you're gonna get your stuff back. Okay, everything is there, set in stone, waiting for y'all, and I can't wait. Everything else is kind of just standard stuff. Y'all can read on your own time and nothing crazy. But yeah, man, that is it. That is Multiverses. I will be seeing y'all May 28th. The grind is going to go crazy, and I'm going to throw in a little sneak in for my competitive players. <laughs> Had some TOs hit me up about some tournaments, some juicy tournaments. <laughs> Not official tournaments, by the way, just, just third-party people. So <laughs> stay tuned for that one. Also lands. <laughs> but yeah, leave a like if you like the video, comment anything. You know, I love y'all comments, man. Your first time ever watching one of my videos and you do enjoy multiverses content, then hit the subscribe button, guys, because we're gonna go crazy this year. Get y'all later, guys. Peace. Yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about left from back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous. Got another five on the side, she a waitress, but it's getting tough. Hard to find better.